Hey everyone, uh, Joey here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to talk about today, talk about a specific stock here, Eyes, and talk about how I think I made a uh, major mistake here. And we're going to walk through all of it. We're going to talk about how the day went and how I traded it and where I'm sitting right now, which is uh, a little bit nervous. So anyways, let's break it down on how today went. So today, momentum came back. Um, all this week I feel like was really slow and we had a huge turnaround today with one specific uh, sp specific stock and it was IYES I-Y-E-S and on this one today I traded this thing um, you know I had my, eye, my eyes on it <laughs> um, earlier today and I really started trading it right in here once we got this move and it was showing to be the biggest gapper, the biggest mover in the market at the time and it had this nice little run up so I had a couple trades on it right in here um, in the 2 and two fifty three dollar area which is great and then I faced a real issue that um, was huge huge bummer and I started having internet problems. Now I've got a, uh, a mesh Wi-Fi network here and with the brand I have on it, it's just recently, it's been very finicky, having a lot of issues. So that's like the worst thing you wanna face when you're a trader, active day trader, where you're getting in and out quickly like I'm doing, is having internet problems. So absolutely frustrating. So. At this point in time, you know, I had made um, a bunch of scalps on this on this trade, and uh, might have been up. I think it was around up around three hundred bucks, pretty decent. Anyways, internet was coming in and out, so I had to go troubleshoot, reset it, and I did that like twice or three times. I was just having so many so many issues with it, and because of it, I missed this entire move. This freaking amazing move that happened from 270 all the way up to uh, 388 here. It's just like this incredible massive move. And I was so pissed because I was doing well on my trades and guaranteed I would have made, you know, some money on this and uh, it would have been really nice. However, I was frustrated dealing with the internet issues and uh, really bummed out that I made, um, that I missed that whole thing. So anyways, I got back and waited for it to kind of break its highs and fall a bit and you know waiting for any kind of consolidation I thought it was maybe done for the day and anyways it kind of consolidated and had this whole nother rip up and from here this is where I got like serious serious FOMO it was very hard to handle because here we are I was um, all this week I've been coming off uh, uh, the previous month I did horrible and so going into this new month I'd set new rules for myself and uh, I had been trading really well um, all up throughout this entire week until pretty much today and so anyways I saw these big moves you know and I felt so much FOMO um, because I didn't want to chase the move and then get in high and just have it collapse on me and have a huge loss. And so anyways, I scalp traded a ton on this um, stock and we had that huge run up, you know, and then a nice drop down and then we just did another double top here at 448. Then it dipped again. So this thing was pretty crazy, pretty volatile. And um, I was just trying to scalp it. So. Any, anyways, everything was looking great for me. I wanted to show you my chart today on trading this thing. Now, typically, like all throughout this week, I've been trading like my average about five trades a day. And today was quite different. As you can see, I had a ton, a ton of trades um, all on eyes. And it was because the market was presenting this opportunity with this with this stock here. It really started ripping. There was some news going on um, with it, and it was just going so hard. And I was trying to manage risk on it in the sense of um, just taking these these scalp trades. 
And anyways, I, I did really well. I had, um, I got all the way up to $719. And from there, I made a nasty trade. And this was uh, really where I got FOMO. Um, I can't find the spot specifically, but it's I, I got in high. You know, I saw this thing ripping up. I was like, I cannot miss out on this. This thing just continues and, ten, you know, continues. And you see it just going on. It's just like, wait for a pullback and I kept telling myself that and anyways I got in I it might have been around this um, 664 area thinking it was gonna go another leg higher and it dropped hard and you know uh, took a big loss on it and went, I went from being up 700 to all the way down to up uh, 359 and it was just one of those things where I'm like oh, you're kidding me like I just slashed my you know my profits in half and super pissed about that and so anyways I got back in the you know back on the saddle kept doing what I was doing and I got on some kind of insane scalping ride where I was just going up you know 50 bucks to 100 bucks just tacking it on and on and on and on you know um, 20 bucks 80 bucks just like just constant and just making tons of trades on this thing and it was working so I I rode that and I rode it all the way up to twenty five hundred bucks, so two thousand five hundred and seventy two bucks, which was amazing. And at that point in the day, I was sitting up that much. I was just like, dude, this is right where I need to be. Putting a nice big green day on today, and I was feeling super awesome. And what happened was we eventually. Um, you know, we moved to the back side of, of this move here, so I thought it would be done. But what I was doing is I decided to actually trade the back side of this, not by shorting, by literally waiting for these big, the big flushes, these real big red candles. And I would buy in as soon as it just pushed real hard to a low and I would snag it right at the kind of bottom of that. And as soon as it you know, pulled up just for a second, I'd, I would sell and I kept doing that and I was profiting and it was great. All on the ride down, I was able to just keep tacking on gains, which is awesome. And so I did that for quite a while and did really well, got up to 2,500 and right in here was where it just ate me alive. And I know a lot of you out there maybe got caught in this situation too, but this whole thing you know, we went, we hit this peak of 9.91, worked all the way down, you know, to five dollars here, 5.42, went back up, then it fell again, then it curled. When I saw this 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 green candle flip into the high side here, I thought it was going to go for a nice, you know, big run, and so I had a few trades in here at the at the top, and I was thinking, oh, you know, this kind of could be the top and so um, you know it went down a bit and I went back into my like scalp trading mode or my dip buying mode and I went in and bought, bought it right in here I think like 839 and from there it just ripped this massive candle it went all the way down and so I told myself I'm like damn that you know massive massive um, loss here but let me let me just uh, buy in again and I'll, and I'll average down and I'll get a nice big chunk of it here and then I'll just try to sell on the pop up and then just try to break even on the trade instead of you know instead of what I should have done is just take the nasty loss it would have been a lot less than what I'm incurring at the moment and um, yeah just take the loss but instead I you know bought a big size here thinking it would maybe give me a nice pop up and I could sell it didn't happen so what I did it do it flushed again and kept failing and failing and then I thought to myself okay and I made the idiotic move of thinking maybe if I can add again at good size then I can you know sell for once once it goes for another pop up because there was just so much more momentum in this and you've got to look at that and go look yeah that's great that it has all that momentum but 
if it does that to the backside, you're, you know, you're going to be caught. And that's what happened to me. And I kept averaging down, averaging down. And then next thing you know, I'm holding it right as the, you know, the market closes and then we never got that pop. So here I am thinking, okay, I'm in pretty heavy at this point. And I was thinking maybe after hours we'll have a nice curl up and I'll just try to um, sell. So what happened is I got in, I'm in super heavy right now, super heavy with 3,700 shares. And um, my average cost right now, I'm still holding this thing. So it's not, not good at this point, the market is closed. Uh, my average cost here is 651 right in here and you know I was I was waiting for the same thing to happen in after hours for a curl up so I could sell for a you know um, a break even and it never happened and it's been going sideways and slightly falling and so here we are at the end of the day end of after hours sitting at 506 and I'm kind of thinking to myself I'm, I'm so heavy here that I needed to sell this thing and I didn't want to because obviously I was down big so currently on the position I'm down uh, 5300 on it okay and anyways I ended the day my actual profit loss that I actually realized that I would you know sold out of I, I profited on the day of 649 bucks but now I'm holding this stupid position of 5300 bucks or uh, negative 5300 bucks where I'm sitting at at 506 and so I'm I don't know I'm not feeling good about this and um, because, you know, this could go two ways on Monday. Obviously up or down. I guess it could go sideways too, but most likely it's gonna go hard up or hard down. And through what it went through today, when you look at the yearly chart here, I like to go back and look at the past and see how it's performed throughout all the given years. And you can see a lot of times, you know, this thing has definitely been volatile and it's gone through um, some serious ups and downs and a lot of times it hasn't hold its, its gains. And I, when I look at it, I try to pick out a day where it actually went up, held the gains and then went up the next day like a multi-day runner. And in this case, a lot of times it goes straight up one day and then straight down and doesn't go back to it. So anyways, this yearly chart to me is not looking good at all. This is definitely what I don't want to, to see. And I don't have much confidence with how this thing is. Now, if we do look at, let me pull up something here. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. Let me see if I can, huh, that's really odd. Okay, this is where I think I, I might be really screwed is because with E-Trade, it looks like these charts aren't even consistent. I have the two charts side by side here. One on the right side, I just clicked for a five-year chart and it looks like there was a big spike up um, specifically on, what day is this? Uh, trying to get some info on this thing. Uh, let's see, February 22nd of 2018. On this chart to the right, it looks like it spiked up heavy and went all the way up to, what, 9.91 and I'm trying to find out if that's actually bogus because look at this. If I uh, look at the chart here on the left, 
which should be identical. Go to one year. Let's go to one year real quick, and I and I scroll out. Um, 2018. I don't see that day of uh, that spike on the 22nd. It's not showing it on the left. So, once again, that could be E trade and how you know crappy the the charts are. But e either way. I don't think I'm looking good and I, I'm feeling pretty frustrated at myself because come Monday morning this could be way down you know back at two bucks or you know it could be up but the way it traded today I don't know I just don't have much hope in it going up so if that's the case you know I'm I'm already at a massive loss now so Come Monday morning, if it's down at that, I'm gonna be down, you know, big time in it. So, I really didn't want to shoot this video because, uh, you know, kind of embarrassing, but it's the truth of it and it's how trading goes. And here I am, you know, had such an incredible day going up to 2,500 bucks. And within my last trade, taking that all the way down to 649 bucks, to averaging down on a stupid, stupid position here. And I don't know. And now I'm sitting here just hoping, which is the worst thing to do um, in trading, is to just be buying in and hoping that the next day something opens up. And uh, yeah, so. I hope you guys really had an awesome day um, with this and I hope you traded it and you profited on it and you took your money and you left because there's probably quite a few people who, you know, averaged down into this and was a sucker like I was and thinking we'd have a turnaround and, and just started digging a hole. So. Uh, we'll see what comes Monday, but let's take a look at the calendar real quick for head out with you guys now. I don't even know. I mean, I don't feel good. This week looks great. When I look at that, solid green. And I'm pissed, though, because I know I was up, realized gains, 2K, $2,000 today. And I could have put that right on the calendar and left it. And however, I'm sitting here now with a 5k loss. Um, that's not realized and it could be worse come Monday. So this 2100 bucks could easily be, easily be wiped out come Monday. And, you know, here here's something I want to mention with you guys is my, my tendency, and this is real bad one if you're a day trader to to do this too often we get into something like this and we're maybe not feeling too well about it we're just curious to like oh well, I had so much it had it ran so much today and even though it's down a lot um, maybe there's a good chance next day it opens up higher right it's always kind of the kind of hope and when, what happens sometimes with a lot of people I used to do this all the time. I even caught myself doing it today. It's like you hop on stock twits, right? Um, and you look up the stock you're looking up. So I'm looking at eyes here and I'm scrolling through the comments because I want to find out how good people feel about this trade, bullish or bearish. And the problem is you go to a site like this and you just get into the weeds um, with everybody in, in their comments. And you wanna cling on to everyone that's bullish about it. And, you know, um, you read so much into this, you know, and then you start thinking about doing some company analysis and fundamental stuff and it's just, I don't know. It's pointless. If you're to me, if you're a day trader, momentum trader, this just gets you caught up in a lot of the weeds because this is this is just opinions from so many people. 
Now, some people might actually might know what they're talking about, but to actually decipher that from the people, from the amateurs here, from the people who are just talking shit and, you know, pumping this thing up, you, 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 you don't know. And reading a couple other people's comments on something, just because they say they think it's going to go up, you know, doesn't mean squat. So, you know, I used to do that all the time in the past, and, you know, I did it today a little bit, but it, it's the worst thing to do to try to get some confidence from that. You really have to trust yourself, trust from your experience in trading, uh, and know and figure out what's best for you, because going off other people's opinions won't get you anywhere for, for day trading, in, in my opinion. So, um, anyways, yeah, that's where it's at, guys. I'm... I didn't want to do this one. This was a tough one for me, but uh, I hope you guys really get some value from it and learn from this because, you know, I guess I, I do do this every, every, you know, from time to time. I got to go on these awesome green streaks and then get into bad positioning and then, you know, maybe add, I haven't averaged down to something in a while and today it was just out of hand. And I think it was partly to do with, I was doing so good with my scalp trading, just going in and buying those flushes down. As soon as something would flush, just buy it up and sell it on the next little push up. And I was thinking, I guess I, would, I was gonna do the same thing with this. And you get caught in this one, you know, these one timers where they can just wipe you out so hard. And, and instead of just selling, I, you know, average down, I took the idiot move and just built the position bigger and bigger, thinking as soon as it curls up, I'll be averaged down, and I'll be better to sell, and I'll be I'll be fine, and I'll break even. But that did not happen. So um, bad trading on my part today, and um, I could have done a lot better. I could have walked away way earlier. And let's just show you here. I was up twenty two something, twenty two five say 22 right there that would have put me at 3700 on the month or on the week which would have been excellent however I screwed that up so uh, yeah we'll see what Monday brings I might be in a real bad uh, position but we'll see how that goes so hopefully this is beneficial to you guys and um, let me know how you did today let me know if you're green if you're red by how much and let me know if you're in eyes right now, and are you holding the bag like I am? Um, not to say that's a good thing at all, uh, but, you know, all you can do at this point is hope, and hope is no good. So, either way, it's just not, uh, not great, but we'll see what Monday brings. So, take care, guys. Have a good one, and we'll see you on the next one.